Tēnā tato kato. Good evening. More than 300,000 people in the Wellington region are not getting the recommended amount of fluoride in their water supply. Wellington Water has admitted one of its plants has not added fluoride for more than a year. And dentists say it may already be having an effect on children's teeth. Alexa Cook has the details. This Upper Hutt water treatment plant hasn't been fluoridating drinking water since May. And this one in Seaview stopped in November. But just two days ago, Wellington Water told residents it had only been one month since fluoridation stopped. Chief Executive has come and said, I've given you the wrong information. He obviously felt terrible about that. The company doesn't know exactly who is at fault. Has someone at Wellington Water lied here about these dates when the fluorine stopped? I, mm, I don't know. That's why we're doing the independent inquiry. Dentists are shocked as fluoride helps prevent rotten teeth. The New Zealand Dental Association is absolutely appalled at the situation. It's astonishing that Wellington Water haven't fronted residents and told them that they weren't fluoridating water. It's deeply concerning and a major public policy failure. Wellingtonians agree. We should have known um, that that was the case so that we can do something about it. So it's an important health concern to some people and, and a lot of us rely on it for our children or our grandchildren. So they've sort of ripped us off, eh? The capital's water treatment plants are over 30 years old and some have been failing to correctly dose fluoride for the past four years. The Dental Association says there's been an increase in Wellington kids needing rotten teeth removed in the past year and believes the lack of fluoridation's partly to blame. We're very concerned about this. We know that children living in non-fluoridated areas have a 40% higher tooth decay rate than those living in fluoridated areas. Only about 2.3 million Kiwis have fluoridated drinking water, but that's set to increase under new legislation, which gives decision-making power to the Director-General of Health, who can force councils to put fluoride in their water. And after this incident, there are calls for a review of those already fluoridating to make sure it's being done properly. If this is happening in Wellington, Maybe it's also happening in other regions. The association wants fluoride in all drinking water to reduce tooth decay, especially in children. Well, Alexa joins us now. Kia ora, Alexa. What's the advice for the 300,000 Wellingtonians not receiving enough fluoride? Well, Mike, if they're worried about it and want to prevent their teeth from rotting, luckily there's a simple solution. And it's all about the type of toothpaste you use. Make sure it's got fluoride in it, which can be quite hard because in the supermarkets there are a lot that don't. So check that labelling carefully. When you're done brushing, spit it out, but don't rinse your mouth out because otherwise you're washing away all the good stuff. Wellington Water says it doesn't know when fluoride will be back in our drinking water, but says it is working hard to fix the problem. Alexa Tanakwe.